My Book of Bible Horrors, Chapter 1 God Created All Things Do you see that wheeled creature full of eyes? That is an angel. God made that shit. Before he made all things we can see, he made all things we can't see. We call them spirits. Powerful, awe-inspiring creatures. These are cherubim. Do you know why God made them? They sing praises to him day and night. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. God made these colorful creatures to make him company. But God still felt a bit lonely. Let there be light, God said. And there was light. The following day. What is that? That is the earth, my lord. So God's spirit descended upon the waters and separated the land from the water. What happened next, daddy? The following day. Well... God made green life sprout throughout the earth. This tiny thing is a Venus flytrap. It lures insects into a false sense of security with a sweet secretion. Once the insect touches the roof of the trap's mouth, the trap shuts and the insect suffers a long and painful death. <laughs> what is an insect, my lord? Shh, I'm gonna make those on day five. And ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. The following day. God then realized that light must physically come from somewhere. So he made the sun and the stars. These will help people divide days and seasons, so they know when to worship me. What's a people, my lord? Silence! I'm not there yet. God then took a hit from his divine joint and went to work. The following day. I'ma make birds before dinosaurs and whales before land mammals. But sir, that's not how evolution works. Silence! My future fanatical followers don't need to know that. So God made all sea animals and flying creatures. Ah, there's the little fly. Damn you bastard. Uh. God now crafted all sorts of creeping creatures to inhabit the land. Some animals eat only plants. We call them herbivores. Like this cute gazelle. Aww. They live in constant fear of getting their throats ripped open by bigger animals with sharp teeth. We call those carnivores. The carnivores live in constant fear of not catching prey and starving to death, or being eaten by a bigger predator. It's a never-ending cycle of agony for everyone. God saw that it was good. <sighs> you know what this joint is missing? An animal so overpowered <clears throat> that in a few millennia will single-handedly destroy countless species and even jeopardize the existence of the planet itself. Yeah. Let us make man in our image, so they can have in subjection all these poor souls. So God made people. Male and female, he created them. He also told them to be fruitful, meaning fuck non-stop, so the earth may be filled with their descendants. God saw all he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. <laughs>